Last year, I made a short video on how to text using your iPhone, link in the description below. Today's video is all about texting on your iPad. You know, I finally get texting, but when this phenomenon first rolled out a number of years ago, I just thought it was a giant step backwards. I mean, honestly, why type out a message when you could just make a phone call? But then I realized phone calls require someone to answer the phone, even if it's an answering machine. Text messages are very different, and I'll show you why. Hi, my name is Rich. I make simple, easy to follow how-to videos for seniors and beginners. If this video helps you out, please consider subscribing by tapping the subscribe button and the little thumbs up as well. There's no cost to subscribe and it helps the channel grow. So what is it about texting that makes it great? Well, the answer is easy. Asynchronous communication. I mean, that's the whole thing right there. You can send a message, know that the recipient got it, and wait for a reply. This is especially handy for short conversations. Now, I don't think texting has replaced phone conversations. You know, sometimes it's just nice to hear another person's voice. But for those times when you need a quick answer to a question, you just can't beat texting. So in today's video, I'm going to give you five tips that'll have you up and running in no time. I'm going to show you how to back up your messages to iCloud because you don't want to lose any of them, how to set up text message notifications so, you know, when you've received a text message, the connection between the messages app and the contacts app, that's important, how to compose a new text message, that's pretty easy, and then how to pin favorites in the messages app. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing I want to talk to you about is how to back up your text messages to iCloud. What does that mean? It just means that you are saving your text messages so that you can get to them when you need them. And it's very simple how to do that. Let me show you. The first thing you do is go into settings and then you tap on your name up at the very top and then you tap on iCloud and then you scroll down till you see messages right here and you make sure that that's turned on that it's green I'm not going to disable it so I'm going to hit cancel but you can make sure that that's green and that's all there is to to backing up your text messages to iCloud only takes you a second to do that but it's important that you do that next thing I want to talk to you about is how to set up notifications so when you get a text message it's important that you know that you've gotten the message and the iPad will notify you when you've received a text message if you tell it to and this is how you do that so you go back into settings you scroll down till you get to notifications and then you go down to messages and then you'll see allow notifications when you first open um, the settings app you may see that it looks like this and you don't have anything down here then you just turn on allow notifications and then you can choose the type of notifications you want to allow time sensitive notifications I would leave that on that's if somebody texts you and they need a response back very quickly and then you have a choice of what type of notifications you receive there's the lock screen notification that's where your iPad is just sitting on the table beside you it's dark it's not even turned on you're watching TV and if somebody texts you a message will pop up on the screen and show you Notification center. Notification center is if you swipe down from the top, you have all these notifications right here and your text messages will be in there if that's how you want to receive your notifications. And then banners, a text message will pop up across the top and stay there for a few minutes or for a few seconds long enough for you to see it so that you know that you have a text message. And then lastly, you have badges down here. If you'll notice, I've received a text message right here and there's the number one that's a badge and that's what it means when you have badges turned on but that's up to you you can just choose however you want to be notified but I think it's probably important that you do turn notifications on if you're going to be texting with family and friends okay the next thing I want to talk to you about is the connection between Apple Contacts and Messages. Actually, Apple Contacts is connected to a lot of the apps on the iPad. So in the Contacts application, and I've made a video on that, I'll include it in the description below, 
you can put in your family and friends. You add your, their names, their addresses, their telephone numbers, their email addresses, and that sort of thing. And if, once it's in there, it connects with all of your other apps. So if you have um, your family birthdays in there, when you open up your Apple calendar, all the birthdays just automatically show up on the calendar. If you have uh, an address in there for one of your friends and you tap on the address, it'll open up Apple Maps and give you directions on how to get to your friend's home. And if you have your email or telephone number of your family or friends in the Contacts app, you can tap on that and it'll take you directly into messages and let you create a message. Let me show you how that works. If you go down to Contacts, I happen to have the icon right here in my dock, and tap on it, there's my wife, and you can see her mobile number is here, her email address is here. And if I want to message her, I can just tap on the little icon that says message, just like that. And it'll automatically create a message going to my wife. I'm in messages right here. And that's how you can uh, text message directly from the Contacts app. But the easy thing to do is just open up text messages and begin texting from there. Let me show you how to compose a new message. So if you tap on the messages icon and you go up here and you tap on the little square with a pencil in it, that'll let you do a new text message. And you type in the name of the person you want to text. Now, if you don't have them in your contacts list, you'll need to type in either their email address or their phone number. You, the messages app needs to know where to send it. But in this case, I'm going to send a text to my wife. So I'm just going to type in her name right there. It is. And I'm going to text a message and say, how is our grandson doing? And there I've composed a new message and to send that message to her, all I have to do is tap the little green arrow like that. And now it's off. And if you'll notice, if you can see this on camera, it says delivered. That means she received that text message. Now, the next thing I want to show you how to do is how to delete a text message. And if you have a whole bunch of text messages over here in the left hand column, you can just take your finger and slide over until you see the little garbage can and tap on it and delete it. And that deletes the text message. Now I'm not going to delete this because I want to show you something else, but that's how you also delete a text message. Okay, so the last thing I want to do is show you how to pin favorites. You may have a whole list of people you've texted in your messages app, and it just you have to scroll through it to find who you're looking for. But if you have family that maybe or friends that you text regularly, you can just pin their names to the top and tap on their name and it'll, everything will come up for you automatically. Let me show you how to do that. So here my daughter, Lindsay, has sent me a text. I had sent her a text asking her how she, if she was having a good day. And she said, I am, are you? And I'm going to type back. I'll respond quickly and say, yes. So now she's got that. So now if I want to pin Lindsay uh, to the top, it's very simple. I just take it and scroll over until I see pin. And then I tap on the pin. And now she's right there. And I can do the same thing with my wife. I can scroll over and tap it. So now if I want to look at text from my wife, I just tap her name. And if I want to look at text from Lindsay, I just tap her name. And you can add up to, I think it's nine people you can pin uh, on the Apple Messages app. So you can put your nine best friends right up there. It's kind of like speed dial for messages. You know, the Messages app on the iPad is just a great way to communicate with family and friends. And while you're probably most familiar using the telephone to communicate, there are a lot of scenarios that texting just makes the most sense. I can't believe I'm saying that, but it's true. Well, I hope you learned a few things in this short video. Just stick with it and you'll be up and texting like a pro in no time. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.